Now, like lots of people this year, we're going to be staying at home for the summer. So what we decided to do to bring a little bit of the holiday vibe into the kitchen is make one of our favourite holiday treats, which is... Churros. A little bit like a donut. Well, very much like a donut, really. The recipe that we're going to use today is actually, it's got no eggs or milk in it, so it's naturally a vegan version. And it's very, very, very simple. So we're going to start. Fab, do you want to do the sieving? Of course. We've got some flour. It goes into the sieve. Along with a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. We'll put the recipe in the description. There we go. And some salt. Give that a good shake through. So that's all of our dry ingredients. Next, we're gonna add some boiling water. We're gonna add a spoonful of oil. It's just normal olive oil to the water. Fabio, can you make a little well in the centre? Okay, you stir as I pour. Yeah. Sort of work it from the centre outwards. We want a nice smooth batter. There's lots of different ways to make this dough. Quite often it's done in a pan more like a shoe pastry, but this is a really, really simple version and it's suitable for vegans as well, so we're gonna give this one a go. Now we're just gonna leave this to sit for a few minutes and while that's happening, let's make the chocolate sauce. We're using milk chocolate. I think dark chocolate would be really, really nice. I don't really like dark chocolate. That's it, you see, I'm doing a family-friendly version, but I think the dark chocolate with a sweet chorizo is always delicious. Right, if you break that for me, we've got yeah. a tub of double cream. If you put it straight into the pan, we don't need a full bar. Full bar. How much is it? Maybe go about three quarters. This sauce yeah. is really, really lovely, uh, obviously warm when you dip your churros into it. But afterwards, if there's any left over, it sort of sets to a point where it's spreadable. But anyway, we'll see if there's any left. By the time you and Cassia have had a go at it, I doubt there will be. We'll have to eat them and see if it makes us think of being in Spain or behind Waterloo Station. If you get that bowl there, it's got caster sugar in. And we're just going to add to that a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm going to check the temperature of the oil. We're looking for around about 180. And if you haven't got a thermometer, a cube of bread should go golden in about 45 seconds. Let's put the mixture into a piping bag. These are not lunch, right? These are a weekend treat. They don't qualify as actual lunch. We'll probably go for about five centimeter, six centimeter lengths, yep. just to see how it will behave. And probably what will happen is they'll sink and then they'll rise to the surface as they cook. When I say now, you slice it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good. We're using a wok to deep fry, but you could use a chip pan or a deep fat fryer or even just a saucepan as long as it's deep enough. Do you want to start now rolling them into the sugar? What time of day do you think it is for churros? No. <laughs> the fact that they're naturally vegan means Robert you can try one too. There's no dairy in there, but unfortunately, no sauce for you. <gasps> Look what we made. They are really nice. Go, have one. We're pretending we're in Spain. Okay. Robert, come get one. I think that's enough now, both of you. <laughs> this is not. This is not lunch. Yeah, it is. No. It's not lunch. Yes. <laughs>